Hello there, this is uh, Drew Schultz FPV and today I have for you it's gonna be a speed test um, it's taken me a while to put this together uh, a couple months I had to you know wait for the sunny days because I live in a wonderful state uh, of Washington uh, the home of rain <laughs> so uh, what do I have for you is uh, it's a test on the 2208 E and non E um, the 2207s and then uh, the 2306 um, 1700 kV now I, I do noticed that the 2208s do somewhat draw in a higher uh, kV rating so this one that I have set up on 2208s 1800 kV um, you'll see in the video that the you know, for six cell, uh, this thing is uh, is packing quite a punch as far as the power compartment goes. Um, the non E, I'll say one thing about this 2208 1700. Um, this was like the, the the most efficient motor out of the bunch, but it's also <laughs> the slowest motor. Um, so you know, I'm probably gonna pit this Xing on my long range. Um, and then, uh, uh, I'll put this on my long range, uh, to replace the, the long range that I just lost that had the 2306s. Um, luckily I made the speed video, uh, before I lost that drone. I was, uh, trying to get some, uh, glory footage up in the mountains doing a dive. And, uh, I believe it was the, the VTX. I can't, I can't figure if it was the VTX failed or, or the camera failed. But basically, I lost footage and I was diving right into a canopy of trees. Um, I have the DVR back up, so I'll probably go get the drone sometime this summer um, when the snow's gone. <laughs> and, uh, and then we have a, a speed test also on the, the Echo... 2207s uh, from Emaxes, so it's two Emaxes versus two iFlights. So, and then I'm gonna go right into like the speed video, and then I'll show, I'll post a, a picture of uh, uh, of the ratings, um, so you, you're not just hearing my voice about it. <laughs> 